Carson here. How are you? It's been a while. I haven't been in front of the camera for a little bit um, as I've been busy and creating and doing all kinds of things, which I'm sure you'll hear about later. But um, I'm so excited. I received my um, Studio Calico Brimfield kit in the mail on Saturday and I haven't touched it yet. It is Tuesday, folks. It's Tuesday today. <laughs> so that is some serious um, patience that I've shown. But I'm so excited I'm gonna open it now. Um, I, I did open it and, you know, glanced through it so it's not sealed, but um, I haven't really, you know, opened the packaging and, and looked at everything up close. All right, here we go. Let's open this puppy. Here, let's do that. Okay, so first thing here, let's see what we've got in this little pouch. Um, these are all the little tidbits I bought either in the shop or, um, you know, not combined in a kit. So first off it says, oh no, we're really, really sorry. The following items were oversold and not included in your package. So that was the Brimfield Bronze Star chipboard, which is a bummer. Um, Jen Chapin, I wouldn't be so upset if I hadn't seen your beautiful layout. So anyway, I was looking forward to those, but, um, you know what? I'll find metallic stars again in the future. I'm not too worried about it. Um, okay, here we have, I got this during the sale that they had on all the seven paper products. Um, and I love little word phrases and bright pink with gold. You can't get much better than that. So I'm excited about these. Um, awesome color theory, gray alpha puffy, great size for project life, great size for cards. Great size for subtitles. Those will get used, definitely. Okay, before we do that, let's check these little guys out. Let's make a little room for this over here. Okay. So, oh right, these, so I love these little transparent squares that they do in all the beautiful colors. And these are the cities. And I don't quite know how I'm going to use them because, you know, let's face it, I'm not going to be going to Tokyo anytime soon. But um, I've been to a couple of these places like Vancouver and Los Angeles and Sydney uh, and London. So I might be able to use those for how, you know, they were meant. But um, I might just have some fun with them as well. Do something a little tongue in cheek. We'll see. But those will be fun. They're pretty. I love the colors. I love the transparentness of them. Very cool. Okay, I got a Color Theory Mojito. This is one of the newer colors that they released. Um, and I didn't need the other colors in the package, so I'm really glad that they sold these separately. I'm excited about the Mojito. I needed sort of like a, like a teal aquamarine kind of color. So that is going to, that's going to be perfect. Okay, I'm really excited about this stamp set. People have been making beautiful cards with it. I love that it comes with this Delicate little flower die. I'm going to be using that a lot. The sentiments are perfect. Thinking of you always. Everything will be all right. Just miss you. That's all. In case you ever foolishly forget, I am never not thinking of you. And then a whole bunch of little building elements. So I can make bouquets, wreaths. Um, yeah, this one is going to be wonderful. I'm excited. Not sure what to do with that pattern, but I'll, I'll come up with something. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to be a great one. You'll probably see a card from me very soon using that set. Okay. Now let's see what else did I get. So I didn't get a ton this month, um, but I got enough. Um, I got the main scrapbooking kit, which I subscribed to. I got an add-on kit that was on sale during preview. I believe it's the typewriter kit. Um, and I got a I got some papers from the seven paper collection during the last call. So that's what all this stuff is. So let's do the typewriter kit first since it's on top. And I love how they both came in bags this time. These bags have been great. I've been going to crops and I've been putting all my supplies in the bags. Um, and I've also been receiving some supplies for some guest design work that I'm doing. And I've been keeping all those collections in bags as well to keep everything sort of separate um, and accounted for. And it's, these bags have been wonderful. Okay, this is the typewriter kit, um, add-on kit. I love these. I have got these from a couple of other um, 
collections, you know, in black and in white and in gold, and they're amazing, and I use them on almost everything. Uh, these are great. That XO is beautiful. Yeah, these words are perfect. So easy to use. There's nothing in here that I'm going to have trouble using. That's beautiful. Okay, yay! These, I wasn't so sure about, but then I saw everybody use them in the gallery, and they look fabulous in the creative team gallery. So I am very excited about these. Um, yeah, lots of ideas, lots of ideas running through my head. So these will get used. This is super cute. I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, it's a tiny stamp set. It says currently reading. There's a little book. Great job. Nerd with glasses. Book review. I love to read. This book belongs to. And then this little tiny square has this book Sorry, rectangle. This book is rated blank out of blank. So those are adorable. All right, moving on. Let's see. We've got the um, icon stickers from, I think it's the Darcy collection. And they're fun, they're bright, they're circles and squares, which is great. Those are very cute. I'm not gonna, is there? It's only 24. I think it's just the one sheet. Let's find out. Yep, one sheet. One sheet of stickers. Cute though. All right. What else do we have? This is mini, mini, mini. Oh, look at that. Look at that mini little white acrylic scissors. Adorable. Okay. And then here we have some paper clips, which as a planner girl, these guys make me happy. They're arrows, they're gold, they're easy to use. They're fabulous. Okay. Great. And then the papers in the typewriter kit. These are a little bit bent on the edges, but nothing that I can't press out. No folds, so that's good. So this is kind of a neat design. It's got, um, it's by Pink Paisley Memorandum, and it's got a whole bunch of like little sort of lightly stamped images on here, words and alphabets and grids and things. That's fun. I did a good job with that. Oh, and then you can see it even better on the back side in the teal on white. That's a nice subtle paper. I like that. Okay, there's that. And then some bold brush stroke alphabets by Studio Calico 7 paper. Very nice. Ooh, that's kind of fun. See, even if I scribbled, I couldn't do that nice a scribble. So. I'm glad somebody else did, did a scribble for me. <laughs> All right. Um, this one's also Seven Paper Studio Calico. And I'm going to be cutting this apart, like no doubt. I don't think I'll use this as a whole piece. Uh, but those are great little Project Life Size pages. I can use them on a card. They'd be really cute on a card. It's a nice set. And I love all the colors. God, those are such vibrant, beautiful colors. Oh, and I can even use that. That's really easy. Great. Beautiful. And then this is also from the Pink Paisley Memorandum Collection. And I believe it's a transparency, so let's see. Let's see what it looks like when you pull it out. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is so beautifully gold and shiny. Ooh, I love that, and it's perfectly clear. Look at that. So cute. I wasn't sure I'd be wowed by this, but I am wowed by this. This is so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light. I know my light's a little weird today. Beautiful. That's a pretty good kit with the with the two chipboards, or sorry, not chipboards, um, with the two thickers, sets of thickers. You really get a lot in that kit. Lots of little doodads and a nice couple set of thickers, a transparency. I'm happy with that kit. And of course the pouch, that is good. Okay, next thing, let's do the, let's do my sale papers and then we'll do the main scrapbooking kit last. So here are some seven paper sale papers that I got. So let's see what I got here. Oh, it's nice they put a, oh, that's so nice. I don't think they've done that before. They put a nice cardboard backing on there so my papers wouldn't get bent. That's very cool. Okay, stars. I love stars, you can't go wrong with stars. This one has black stars on white and white stars on black. I love that. I can see like cutting it down the middle and using both sides on one layout. That's really pretty. Okay. Well done. Okay. 
sort of a orangey red and pink stripes. Aha, the cityscape. Yes, so I got two of these, as you can see, because I love that cityscape paper. It's so gorgeous. Um, we don't go to the city enough, but I will figure a way, figure out a way to use it. Or maybe we'll just go to the city so I can use it the way it was intended. <laughs> and then I got this vellum, this, this gold foil vellum from the Baxter collection. That is quite pretty. And it doesn't look, um, I don't know if you remember my last unboxing video, I had some gold foil vellum. Actually, it was glittered vellum from Crate Paper, and it was a little bit bumpy and warpy. And this is just really smooth and nice. That is gorgeous. Ooh, I love that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy so far. This has been a good haul so far. I've been getting a little bit less lately and I feel like the quantity over quality is really working for me. So um, anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful quality kit so far. I'm loving this. All right. So here we go. This is the SC um, Brimfield Scrapbooking Main Kit. I'll pull it all out and we'll see what we get this month. Set that aside. All right. So here we go. Let's start with the card. September 2015, it says, Brimfield, Enchanted Charming Daydream. Brimfield brings together enchanting sunset tones with lush colors reminiscent of your favorite antique store, full of contrasting mint hues and familiar homespun patterns. Okay. Um, color theory pairings, mint tint, flamingo, lavender soda, and inky black. Great. All right. Okay, I was very excited about this. Um, this is the Jasmine Jones roller stamp and it's all the months of the year, which will come in very handy and her writing is so cute. Um, I kind of wish I could have gotten that Project Life one, which has all the food sayings on it. That one would have been awesome, but this one is lovely too. Okay. We have a, a mini, 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 mini deer. This thing is mini. <laughs> It's cute, but it is mini. Look how teeny tiny that is. <laughs> it's adorable. You know, there could have been a few more of those. Just saying. It's cute though. All right. Washi strips. These are thinner washi strips than usual. Um, you get a few more on there though, which is good. I like these basic color ones. Those are nice. Sometimes you just need some color without a pattern. So that's great. Okay, washi strips. Um, let's see, what's this? A tag. I kind of don't like the tags. The tags, they're lovely tags. Look how thick they are. They're beautiful colors. I kind of feel like throwing a tag in doesn't do it for me. But you know, maybe, maybe there are a bunch of people out there who love the tags. Um, give me three tags. Give me five tags. One tag. Meh. Okay. <laughs> now, I was excited about these. These little acetate acetate pieces. Um, you know, when the fairground kit acetates came to my door, I wasn't excited about them because they're circus themed. You know, some of them were a little strange looking. Um, but then I ended up using them. I ended up using the heck out of them. And um, so I'm actually really excited about these. Let's lay them out so we can see them all. Oh, that's and when I, uh, you know, when you look at the creative team gallery, there's so much cool stuff that they're doing with these there, um, that there's a lot of inspiration. So I am, I'm very excited about these. Those birds are cute. Yeah. I don't know about those. Those might be a little harder for me to use, but, um, they're cute, but everything else is going to be easy, easy peasy. Great. Happy about that. Okay. What's next? Let's do, let's do these. These are great. I'm so glad they're stars. I'm glad they're just not enamel dots because I have a million enamel dots um, and I'm not using them as quickly as I should be, but stars I can use until the cows come home. So that's great. I'm excited about that. The dots all mixed with the stars. Those are going to go fast. I can tell. Okay. Oh, these are going to be great. Let's pull them out of here so we can see that shimmer. 
Okay, these are very cute. I'm glad they're on a board on a backing and not all jumbled up in a package because that would make me sad. So this is great. I can just pull this out, use a couple at a time. Everything stays together. Um, they have great phrases. Love this life of mine, partner in crime, making it up as I go. Oh, these are kind of interesting. I like that. Take a walk on the wild side, take the risk. You make my heart smile. Follow your dreams, they know the way. These are great. Somebody put a lot of thought into those. I like that. Well done, Studio Calico. All right, now these are gorgeous. My only wish is that there were a few more letters. And they tried to they tried to remedy that by allowing us to buy some more this, this past month, but they sold out so fast. Like, I mean, I was right there, you know, right there. The second they were available, I jumped on it and I didn't get them. So they, um, they sold out super fast. So I was only able to get this one. Um, I'll make use of it. They're beautiful. They're just like the Lena stamp, which I've just cracked into and I love. I just did on a on a layout a few days ago and it just looks stunning. So um, yeah, it's a beautiful font. It's beautiful in the gold puffy. I'm excited about those. Great. Okay, and to the papers. Let's see what we get here. All right, so we have Lovely blue with some birds and some branches. And then a yellow. That's a pretty good yellow, too. I like that. Great. Okay. This is a very small crosshatch. Rainbow colors. Nice. It's rainbow, but it's a little bit subtle. I like that. And then here's an orange polka dot. Oh, no. They're little, they're little squares. Cute. Well, I'll probably be using this side. Oh, this is gorgeous. Sort of the pastel look on this floral bouquet. Yeah, people have been using this paper a ton and I just love how it looks. Oh, the backside's even beautiful. Subtle, but pretty. Very nice. We'll do this. Okay. Triangles, text, gray and white, not so bad. This is nice, a little bit of a subtle pastel -y mint. I like the stripes. The stripes are very easy to use. That's great. Okay, let's save that one for last. These, it's just a strange pattern, but cute. Repeating. Probably be using this side. More of a pink than an orange girl, as you know by now. Okay, maps, flowers, beautiful. I love it. Photorealism. Mm. That is stunning. Great, I'm excited about that. Oh, on both sides, I love that. So you can pick your, you can pick your oceans, basically. Do I wanna be in the Pacific or in the rest of the world? Very cool. Okay, cardstock. Hmm. Curtain cardstock. Meh. <laughs> no thanks. Another piece of white, that's good. I can always use the white. All right. And then we've got this lovely piece of transparency. Um, I've seen people use it as a whole piece. I've seen people cut the stars out. I think I'll probably be cutting the stars out. Um, there you go. Now you can see what it looks like with the paper peel. 